Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. Have you ever uploaded a track to Spotify, Apple Music or SoundCloud and found that after uploading it somehow sounds a bit weird, different than before, maybe even a lot quieter? Well, that is because all of these platforms have different loudness penalties in place, which means that if you're uploading a song file to these streaming platforms and you're not meeting their loudness criteria because either your song is quieter or louder than what they're expecting, then that algorithm will alter your song to match it to their loudness requirement. And that can have some very undesired consequences sometimes. Fortunately for us, we now have the awesome target loudness export option that was previously only available on the project page since version 5.5 on the song page as well with version 6. And this means that we can now avoid these unintended modifications of our song by the algorithm and stay in control of how it sounds after we've uploaded. Adjusting the loudness of your song should usually be the last step of your production, which is kind of why we only had it on the project page before, but having it on the song page as well has some inherent advantages. For example, you can also optimize all of your demos that you're exporting to the right loudness, or if you just don't want to use the project page and you want to do it all from the song page, then you're not missing this essential functionality anymore. You find it now if you go to song and export mix down. This is also what you would do if you were to export your song without these loudness options just normally. And here you can set maximum loudness, dynamic tolerance and true peak levels. So you have full control over how the normalization is going to be applied here. To help you, we also have a lot of presets that are covering pretty much all of the big players in the streaming game to make sure that your music is always playing at the optimal and ideal loudness. So if you're uploading to SoundCloud, you'll find the preset that's perfect for that. You'll find Spotify. You'll also find Spotify Loud, which is amazing for techno, big room and those kind of genres. Also great for metal, I'm sure. And there's also a YouTube preset, by the way, which is quite interesting, not just from a musicians, but also from a content creators and podcasters standpoint, which also benefit from other features since 216, by the way, such as the brand new video track. So there you have it. Those are the brand new loudness options that we now have in Studio One 6 on the sound page. And hopefully they're going to help you to stay more in control of how your music sounds after uploading. Thank you for watching.